Welcome everybody. So today I was working on a, uh, a review of Linux Mint XFCE for the um, latest release, which is version 16 Petra. And um, I wanted to remove some noise from the microphone. Just a little bit of noise that I had that was uh, in the environment, just general noise. And one of the problems I ran into is if I run it through a video editor such as TV or um, Caden Live, it will automatically try to compress the video from the original high definition 1080p version, which I used um, and grabbed using a FFmpeg, and um, it will reduce the quality of it, which is kind of a pain in the butt when you're doing a screen grab. So let me show you guys what I found. I was over on this website here, and I was doing some searches for replacing um, audio using FFmpeg. So basically what you go and do is you open up your original video file in um, Audacity. So I have Audacity as the um, default file for this, and this is my original output. It'll take a moment to load. Whoops. Now if I go over here and zoom in really close, you can kind of see the waveform with the noise. It's it's really small, but you could totally see it. And um, it's very easy to remove it. So what I'll do is I'll grab the um, first part of this, go over to Effect, and of course you go in and you just uh, hit Noise Removal, get the no Noise Profile, which is this area selected here. And Effect again would be um, uh, noise removal. So I've already got the noise profile, so I just hit OK. So in just a moment, it will actually take the um, the file. And if I zoom in, you could see that there is literally very little movement in this waveform. I'm I'm about as far in as it will go, and there was no moving whatsoever. All right, so I'm going to just. Uh, export this really quick. I'm going to go ahead and export it as FLAC because that will be uncompressed. I'm going to put that um, over in my original folder. I'm going to hit OK. It'll take just a moment. It's actually separating the audio from the video and saving the audio as FLAC. Okay, so I've got this FLAC video, and uh, you might want to turn up the volume on this. This is going to be my original video that I will... Um... Actually, I can't play that for you. I just realized that it will uh, run through my speaker. Um, so what I'll do is just go through the process of replacing that video. So. Let me take this original example that they provided for me. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this. Now I'm using um, libab, so the command is going to be a little bit different. And of course, I have different folders that I'm working with. So first, I'll want to do is go over to the desktop, cd. Whoops. What? There we go. So you see my original folder here, so I'll go ahead and go over to original. And you got the two files here. Now what I'm going to do is change what they went with here and do essentially the same thing, but substitute it with my own file names. Now I'm using avconvi, or however you pronounce that. It's exactly the same as ffmpeg. 
um, although I believe it is um, more up to date. It depends on the repository. Some repositories don't have the latest FFmpeg and they use AVCon um, in its place. So I'm going to take my um, audio file, which in my case is called output to tac flack dot flack. I'm going to replace the audio file in output 2.webm. Then I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a copy of the file using the TAC V codec. And I'm going to call it final video new clean audio. Just make it extremely obvious what it is. And right now it's actually going through the process and going through the video, but what it's doing is actually just replacing the audio. It's not even touching the video, and you can see it's already finished. So I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> test it out really quick. It should be in my original folder with the extremely long name I gave it. I'm going to go ahead and play it, but you're probably going to hear a bunch of noise because it will be coming over my speaker. Whoops. By default, it will want to open it in Audacity because that's the program I had set for some reason. You can hear um, no noise right here. Whoops. Yeah, so it's very clean audio from my uh, my Linux Mint review, which hasn't gone up just yet, but it will as soon as I post this. So before I uh, post this video, I'm going to do exactly the same thing and clean up the audio on this one. And uh, that way you guys could take advantage of cleaning up audio in FFmpeg or Avcon V and uh, not having to actually edit the video itself at all whatsoever. It comes in extremely handy and it's on the command line so you don't have to wait 15 minutes for your 6 minute video to render. Anyway, take it easy, and if you have any questions, go ahead and hit me up on uh, Google Plus or in the uh, YouTube comments. I'll also put a uh, link to this forum thread below so you can make comparisons and uh, test it out yourself. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.